Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alex, Mr. Impreza WRX with another how-to video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a Cobb XLE bypass valve on a 2011 Subaru WRX. Here's a list of tools you'll need for the install. A ratchet, 10 and 12 millimeter sockets, a six inch socket extension, and some pliers. You will also be required to have a three and four millimeter Allen wrench key and a 13 millimeter open end wrench key. These tools are required to maintain the Cobb bypass valve. First thing that you're going to do is locate the stock bypass valve, which is located on the right side of the intercooler. Now that you located the bypass valve, grab your pliers and remove the clamp by pinching them together. This will allow you to remove the return line off the bypass valve. Now that you have removed the return line, proceed in removing the vacuum line off the bypass valve. With your pliers, pull out the vacuum line. Next, grab the 10 millimeter socket and the ratchet to remove the two bolts that are holding on the bypass valve onto the intercooler. As for the bottom bolt, it is best that you use the socket extension for that it might be difficult in reaching the bolt with just a 10 millimeter socket. Here are the two bypass valves compared side by side. As you can see, the Cobb bypass valve is a little bigger than the stock bypass valve and it's not made out of plastic. The Cobb bypass valve is well built and lightweight. With that being said, let's finish off installing the Cobb bypass valve. Use the gasket provided by Cobb when installing the bypass valve. Make sure that the mouthpiece is pointing to the return line when installing the bypass valve onto the intercooler. Grab one of the bolts and screw it back into place. You may want to wiggle the bolt to find the hole. Screw the bolt into place by hand first before torquing it down with the ratchet. By doing so, this will prevent you from damaging the threads. Now that the two bolts are in place, using the ratchet and the 10 millimeter socket, torque the bolts down to the 12 pounds of torque. Once the bolts are torqued down and you're ready to proceed into installing the vacuum line, reinstall the vacuum line onto the grub that's on the bypass valve. Just push the hose into the grub. Reinstall the return line onto the mouth of the Cobb bypass valve. Make sure that the hose is aligned onto the mouth before clamping it down onto the bypass valve. Use the pliers and pinch down onto the clamps and at the same time push the return line onto the mouth of the bypass valve. Now that the return line is onto the bypass valve, make sure that the line is fastened and secured into place. Now that the install is complete, I'm going to show you how to adjust the spring's tension. Use the 13mm socket and loosen the nut. Use the 4mm Allen wrench key and adjust the tension on the spring, whether that is if you want to add or decrease the tension of the spring. Being able to adjust the spring tension it means that you are able to adjust when the valve opens depending on application and how much boost you are running. Once you have set the spring's tension, just tighten the 13mm nut so that the tension of the spring you have just set stays in place. So there you have it, a quick and easy install. Make sure to check out my channel for more videos like this and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out coptuning.com for more information and great products. Thanks for watching everyone.